What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to work with structural steel frames. So in this exercise, I'm gonna show you how to create a moment frame symbol, and I'm gonna show you how to create a braced frame, okay? So the first exercise is I'm going to show you how to display the moment symbol. So let's say I'm going to zoom into this part here, okay, so this frame here, and let me just change the scale to 1 is to 100 because 1 is to 96 is kind of funny. So 1 is to 100 like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to specify a beam to display moment frames or cantilever connection symbols. Okay, so these parameters uh, refer to the applicable beam endpoint. So let's say, for example, so for this frame here, you want to show a uh, moment frame symbol for the endpoint, for the beam endpoint. Okay, so to do that, you just need to select your frame and then go to the properties and then move the slider down and then look for uh, structural and then you have here start and end connection. So take note that your... Uh, symbol here, the display moment symbol, it only shows when the detail level of the view is set to course. So what do I mean? So from your view control bar, so there's the detail level. So as you can see, it's already set to course. If you set that to fine, it will look like this. Double line, right? So same with uh, medium. Okay, so if you're going to change that to course, it will show as a stick or a single line. So the moment symbol displays only when the detail level of the view is set to course. Okay, so just remember that. So let me select this. And then from the properties, structural, let's change here the start connection. So you have three options. So you have none, cantilever moment, and moment frame. So let me select cantilever moment here for the start and end connection, cantilever moment, and then apply. And there you go. So that's how it looks like. So that's the symbol for cantilever moment. Okay, that one. And let me change this. I want that to be moment frame. So let's click moment frame and moment frame for the start end. And then apply and that's the difference okay so for the moment frame so it's a triangular field region there so if it is a cantilever moment it's just a triangular without the field okay and you can also change the distance of your uh, symbol from your uh, structural elements so to do that just go to the uh, structure, click the structural settings, and then from the symbolic representation settings tab, you can see here the symbolic cutback distance. So I'm going to change the distance from the beams truss. So I'm going to change this. Uh, let's say I'll just make it 5 to make it uh, exaggerated. So 5, and then I'll just select here OK. And there you go. You see, it now changes the distance right okay so now for the next exercise is uh, i'm going to uh, create a brace okay so we are going to create a framing uh, elevation first and then i'm going to show you how to create a brace or frame okay so to do that i'll do it here between the ef uh, grid i'm going to create first my elevation so let's select the view Elevation, you see the create panel, so click the drop down, you can see framing elevation. So we are going to create first a framing elevation to show vertical bracing. So let's select this. So we haven't created our bracing, so let's create first our uh, framing elevation. So as you move your cursor, you need to touch the frame here and then click. There you go, so that's now your elevation frame. Or framing elevation so modify so let's change the name so it's this one okay elevation one dash a so if you're not sure what's the actually the name is already there so you just need to look at the project browser so this one so right click let's rename this 
I will call this one uh, brace frame elevation. So brace frame elevation. Enter. There you go. Okay, and then let's open up the elevation. So let's double click that. And here's now the elevation. And let me go back to the structure, structural settings. Let me just put it back again to the same value as the brace distance here. Okay, there you go. And then let's modify the crop region here. Let's adjust so we can see it properly. Okay, right. And then I'm going to change the detail level. Again, let me change the scale and then change the detail level. So instead of coarse, let me select here medium. That's the one. So medium. And let us now add uh, braces to the framing elevation. Let me just hide first the uh, crop region. So I'm going to hide the crop region. Okay, so there's no crop region. Okay, so let's go to the structure and then this time from the structure panel. So I'm going to select brace. Click the brace. Shortcut is BR. Click that. And then from the properties, you can select here the different types of uh, braces that you want to put in your building. So I'm going to use this hollow structural section. Click that. Okay, so let's put it now. So I'm going to click here at the intersection of E and first floor. Grid. So let's click there and then let's snap at the midpoint. Okay, so same here, this side. So let's click that and then let's click the midpoint. That one. Okay, then modify. So in 3D view, this is how it looks like. That's the one. Okay, you can also adjust the offset of your brace so let's do it again on the brace frame elevation so you can click okay and then after that you can change the distance uh, let me select do you have edit type no it's not there this one okay so it's 12.7 there so i'm just gonna change this to Let's say minus uh, 450. And then I'll just select here, apply. There you go. Okay, so start, join, cut back. So let's select. Okay, let's change that to minus 450. So I'm just showing you how to change it. There you go, see? Okay, so another thing that you can do is, let me just select that again and undo this. Undo. Okay, so let me select. And then let's look for the elevation. This one is start attachment elevation. So let's change this. So again, I'll just use minus 450 and then I'll select here apply. And there you go. So it's now changed like this. So that's the uh, attachment elevation start. Okay. So let's do that as well to the other uh, uh, st uh, other structural framing. Let me close this. So let's select this one. And let's change the elevation. This one. So minus 450. And there you go. Okay. So let's create also here at the second floor to the roof. Okay, so let's click the brace and let's click here, intersection, and then let's click the midpoint, intersection, and then let's click the midpoint. There you go. Right, so that's it. So let's check that one out in 3D view. So this is how it looks like. Okay, now another thing is um, you can also specify the symbol of your uh, brace frame. Okay, so if you go to the second floor, so as you can see, there's the brace frame that you have placed, right? 
So we are going to modify this symbol. So we want that to be parallel, not cross like this. So to do that, let's go to the structure. Let's click the structural settings. And from the symbolic representation settings, so there's the brace symbol. So instead of line with angle for the plan representation, I'm going to change that to parallel line. Okay, so let's click parallel line. Just make sure show brace above is selected here, is tick. And then just select OK. And that's it. There you go. See? So you have four framing here. Okay, you can click that tag and then you can use the arrow on your keyboard just to move it up. Okay, and then let's copy this. So let's click this one. Hold control. Two, three, four. Okay, so select and then after that, let's copy. Let's click base point here. Make sure constraint is tick. And then let's pick here. And there you go. And modify. Alright, so that's now your uh, brace. So in 3D view, this is how it looks like. There you go. Okay. So that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this one. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.